Now that we have tested out how to customize the search results based on membership levels, um, user ID, and different variables that you can see on the developer solution center, we're going to start customizing the front end. The front end is a special um, page that in order to actually customize something here, you first have to enable customization support for it using the design settings option here. Settings, design settings, then we go to home page layout, then home page section order, and we're going to find this option here. This option can be in any of the 13 uh, sections, but it needs to be on one at least, so we can start customizing the page. If we don't have this option here, and we save it like this, Let's see the home page. You're going to see it the same, right? But if we start adding content to it through the content option in the admin sidebar here, let's start adding something here. Okay, like this text. We save that, we refresh the home page, and you're not going to see those changes here until until you actually go to the design settings and change that option I mentioned on the section order. So let's enable the custom homepage content, save it, and now we can go to the home page and we're going to start seeing what we did there. See? So now we can start working on this on the on the home page. To work on the home page, you have several ways of adding information to it. You can add HTML code, you can add JavaScript code or CSS code, but the home page doesn't support, or any page doesn't support PHP code or uh, MySQL queries. You can also add or call what we'd say uh, widgets by using a special way of calling widgets, forms, um, sidebars and even menus. You can call them by this format widget and the name of the widget. The name of the widget can have spaces in it but it needs to have the name of the object we're going to be calling then the equal sign followed by the, na the actual name of the widget. Everything in square brackets. This also supports um, forms. So you can do something like this. You can also call menus. You can also call uh, sidebars. All four can be called like this. So that's good to know. We're going to create really quickly here a custom widget. Let's call it custom widget just for fun. We're going to go to widget manager. Let's create a new widget. Guess, guess the name custom widget. Let's save that and let's put something here. Let's put a, a div tag. Okay. And inside of it we're gonna put a HR, another HR, and then here we're gonna put a, a spam. Okay. And the spam is gonna say BD is awesome. There we go. Note that we're calling the widget through here on the home page and we just created the widget. So if we refresh the page, you'll see the changes right away. So remember, you have to have the settings, design settings option. Go to home page layout, section order, and remember to have the custom home page content. You can have it anywhere. Okay, but it needs to be enabled in one of them. Just save that there. And with this, you can now start customizing the home page. Also, remember that if you're going to call a widget, this is the way of calling a widget. Most of the time, you're going to be calling widgets to the pages like this. It also needs to be known that depending on the order that you actually call the widgets, that's the order they will appear on the, on the home page. 
So just put the code you need there, save, and there we go. There we go, we have our new code in place on the homepage. So hope you liked the video and have an excellent day.